In this video, we're going to be going over AI for everyone, and this is our part 6 video inside of this series. And specifically in this video, we're going to go over what AI can do and what AI cannot do. So let's get started with this video. So the first thing that we're going to cover is the rule of thumb for AI tasks. So the rule of thumb basically just means an accurate guess based on experience rather than theory. And the rule of thumb for AI tasks is if a task can be done without a second of thought, then it can likely be automated using supervised learning. And we're going to look at some examples on the next slide here. So on this chart, you can see all of these can actually be automated using supervised learning. So all these tasks can be completed within a second of a thought. So that means that they can all be AI automated. So for example, if we take the last one, which is the manufactured item image. And the thing that we're looking at is if it's has a scratch or not so if we have a cup for example and we're trying to manufacture it does it have a scratch or not so this can be automated because it can be completed within a second of a thought so our ai can actually tell if it has a scratch or not all we have to do is feed the model with tons of data of scratches and not and then the ai can actually tell us if it has scratches or not and another example is the email if it has spam or not so we can actually create an automated ai spam filter to tell us if an email has spam or not. So these are just some examples of the rule of thumb for AI tasks. And now we're gonna cover over the first thing for what AI cannot do. So AI cannot do a task that takes more than a second of a thought. So the first thing it cannot do is write a 50 page market report for us. It can maybe give us a summary or maybe just one page, but it's not gonna be able to write a 50 page market essay for us. And this will most likely change in the future as AI is rapidly growing, but as of right now, it cannot actually write us a 50 page market report. So this is the first thing that AI cannot do. For the second thing that AI cannot do is generate empathetic customer service responses. So AI cannot respond to every single email that is sent to a business. And this is because there might be some misspelling, there's not enough data that the AI has, or there's also different ways that people type. So if you look at this picture here, so there's 1,000 different examples that we have. So the user sends this to the customer view section, and then we have an AI that's running it. So sometimes the data is not enough, and then the AI doesn't have anything to respond, so then they just respond with thank you for your email. So for instance, if a user just types, my box was damaged, and if the AI doesn't have anything inside of the data set, then they're gonna respond with thank you for your email. Such as in the, the second one, we have where do I write a review? Then the AI just responds with thank you for your email. And what's the return policy? Then the AI just responds with thank you for your email. So this is just some things that AI cannot do. This is the second thing that it cannot do. And now we're gonna look at the third thing that what AI cannot do. And this is to understand human gestures and intentions. So just like a construction worker signaling or a hitchhiker waving. So both of these people are waving. So the construction workers are signaling to the cars to go to the other lane, but the hitchhiker is waving for the car to stop so that they can go onto the car and ride over. So this is something that AI cannot do, tell the difference between them. So to AI, they look the same. So we also need to incorporate to the AI the background that they're in. For example, the construction worker, maybe there's gonna be some signs behind them, or we could also incorporate the clothing that they're wearing. The construction worker might be wearing like a helmet or like a really colorful vest or something like that. So this is another thing that AI cannot do, understand the human gestures. And just as we talked about in the part one thing of what AI cannot do, future in the future, since AI is rapidly growing, this will also be likely to change. So this is the third thing that AI cannot do. And furthermore, for what AI cannot do, AI cannot work with small data sets for complex tasks. So for a complex tasks like generating a detailed customer service responses, even a data set of thousands of examples may not be sufficient for training an AI model. So just as we saw in the email one, even if you have tons of data, all the customers may be right in a different way that is not inside of the data set. So AI cannot work with small data sets for complex tasks. You need to have hundreds of thousands of data and maybe then your AI will be accurate that way. So you have to train the model with tons of data. So this is another thing that AI cannot do as of right now. And as a conclusion, in this video, we talked about two different things. We talked about what AI can do and some examples of it. And second thing, we talked about what AI cannot do and some examples of that as well. So thank you so much for watching from Try To Be Useful and we'll see you guys in our next AI video.